our next exciting match here on Action Pack Wrestling. Michael Freely from Phoenix, Arizona. And I'll tell you right now, this kid is smug, arrogant, all you want to say, but he backs it up, Dan, against young Jesse Wyndham. Uh-oh, Jesse Wyndham done stole his sunglasses. And Michael Freely just not reacting well to that. Oh, my goodness. We call it psychological warfare, Bill. Absolutely. You know, if your opponent is beaten before you get in the ring, you know, you don't have to do much, but that's exactly right. Get under a guy's skin, whatever advantage you can get. And there's the bell. Young Jesse Wyndham going up against Michael Freely of Phoenix, Arizona. Crowd really behind him right here at the Action Pack Wrestling Arena here in Chester. Yeah, in fact, you know, Jesse Wyndham, I haven't seen him before, but I understand he's pretty well traveled and... Uh, Big, long, tall drink of water. Uh, on TV, I'm sure he doesn't look like it, but what do you think, 6'4", six, 6'5"? Six, Big, tall kid. Never been about 6'3", six, 6'4", six, something like Absolutely. that. Absolutely. I mean, he's going to get tested here tonight against Michael Freely. You talk about well-traveled. Michael Freely working all over the country. You know, done a stint down in Puerto Rico, up north, all over. Collar, elbow tie up, side headlock. He's done real well in Georgia, too. And Absolutely. I understand, though, he did you say he had a little bit of a military uh, training all of a sudden? Absolutely. No doubt about it. He's in great physical condition. Float over. Big. Oh, high, high hip toss. Oh, man. Big elbow. And Jesse Wyndham's come to life right here. That's right. Last time I saw Freely, he is about 30 pounds smaller than what he is now. And he is really beefed up. But uh, Jesse Wyndham, you know, don't know a whole lot about him, Bill, but he comes. Uh, local boy. Yeah, highly recommended. Highly recommended. Local boy made good. I mean, you know, that's the thing. Got to look. Oh, flipping to the thing. Big monkey flip. Wow, flipped him three quarters of the way across the ring. Oh, plants him there. Michael Freely in a bad way. Oh, and a chop. And a, oh, and another right in the throat, Dan. I'll tell you right now, this kid, Jesse Wyndham, is on fire. Wow, he was eight feet in the air if he was an inch. He and shows, Michael Freely doing the right thing, brother, breaking the momentum and going to ringside. He shows a lot of fight and a lot of fire, but uh, so far it's still inexperienced. But, uh, That's exactly right. Those were a bunch of high-risk maneuvers from things right there. Michael Freely, I guarantee you, felt a pin coming on or a pin attempt and bailed outside the ring. And it's broke the momentum. He's going to take advantage of this 10 count, sign of a veteran. You know, I'll tell you right now, this pro wrestling is a game, like you say, of human chess. You know, the key is a lot of times the best wrestler doesn't win, without a doubt. I mean, a lot of times the best wrestler, the best ring psychologist wins. The guy that knows how to distract the referee, how to kill the momentum, doing exactly what Michael Freely's doing right now. You know, he felt the momentum running to Jesse, and oh, he's going to bring it back in the hard way. Oh, man! Slingshot. Unbelievable. A big short, what is that, uh, German uppercut? That's a forearm smash. Okay, there we go. Duck under. And another. Oh, oh wait a minute. Drop kicked him in the back. What wow. timing, what timing. Oh, Dan, that hurt me. And there's a two count. I'm lucky that kid kicked out. I think Jesse Wyndham was going for maybe an elbow or something. That high risk stuff, Dan, I'm going to tell you right now, it's, it's great. It looks phenomenal on television. It looks amazing in person. But I'm going to tell you right now, he telegraphed that. He went up on that second rope. Michael Freely had about a second to respond. He got that drop kicking in his back. And look at that. Moment, the momentum has changed that quick. Fantastic timing. Oh, there he goes. See, there he goes right back to the back. He's got him down with a short drop kick there, there on the mat. And Michael Freely, nah, Michael Freely's making a mistake. You know, there's nothing wrong with talking junk to the crowd or getting your heat, as you so to speak, or whatever. But I tell you, see there, he took too long. Ooh, short forearm. Yeah, you want the crowd to either like you or hate you, but the thing of it is, you got to stay focused on what's going on. Absolutely. The crowd can distract you, and it's over. I mean, that quick. But that's right, wrestling fans, if you're joining us, like I said, in Rock Hill or Charlotte or Chester or any of those five or six counties right there, if you're within the sound of Dan and Mai's voice, we encourage you to come down here each and every Friday night at 110 Helen Street, Chester, South Carolina, and bring your family. It's a good family. Oh, wow. Double knee to the back. He is, he's, he's got a game plan. He's got a game plan. He's working that back, that lower extremity right there, going up on the top ropes. Big 
elbow drop. Signs of Macho Man Randy Savage. And here's the cover. I think we got a winner. Oh, and he kicks out. I thought that was it. I was fixing to grab the mic and announce the winner, Dan. But like I said, 110 Helen Street every Friday night. What's he got here? Is that a Cobra Clutch? That's a, no, that's a chin lock. But wait a minute. No, and now he's got him in a double European wrist lock. Double your Dan, you just amazed me, brother. Double European wrist lock. It looks like he's making a pretzel to me. But anyway, look at there. He's got his knee in that lower back. He's got a game plan. He's, he, he hurt that back, and he hadn't let up off of it in the last three or four minutes. A lot of people have really not kept up with the British wrestling in the past, but I'm sure you've heard of some people like the Dynamite Kid. Fit Finley. Yeah. I'm going to tell you right now, them guys can tie you in knots, brother. Everybody's the same size on the mat. And none of those guys were ever the biggest guy in the ring by no stretch of the imagination. But they could wear you out. Or even today, British has uh, Doug Williams, who is yes. very talented. Absolutely. I think the only guy that could probably hang with them was the great Stu Hart. Bret Hart's father. They said he could go hold for hold right on the mat with any of those guys. But like you said, those those European guys, they use that old school sound of mentality. Ooh, see there, he's working that back again. I'm telling you, this kid, Michael Freely, has got a game plan against this kid, Jesse Wyndham. Oh, but he's being arrogant. Being arrogant. I think he just, like you said, more than psychology, just smugly covered him there. And he kicks out. But, you know, these guys have been going at it for seven or eight minutes here, Dan. Wide open. Six minute mark, and I'm going to tell you what, man. It, Michael Freely's getting a little bit too cocky. Absolutely, there's no doubt about it. It can change that quick. And you know, you've heard me say this a thousand times. There is no doubt about it. You can believe what you want to believe about pro wrestlers. These guys are world class athletes, and almost a three count right there. But I've said it a million times. The average street fight lasts 25, 25 seconds, and that's 20 seconds of me talking trash to you. So these guys have been going wide open for six and a half minutes now. And I'll tell you, if you don't think that's the deal, I've heard me say this before, Dan, walk to the end of your street and get your newspaper and walk back and see if you don't have to take a 15-minute break. But Michael Freely, going outside, what is he going to, Dan? I don't know. He's taking a lot of time. Now oh, big moving over. There you go. Flips his way in. Puts his whole body weight from, down on young Jesse Wyndham. From Mexico, that's called a centon. And your whole... Centon. Boy, I'll tell you right now, I've got to get a notepad and take notes when I'm sitting beside a Dan Parent. Your whole weight. It's in that move right there. Oh, no doubt. Big leverage from the ropes. It flips in, lands your shoulders, your width of your back, down on that guy. And, oh, outside. Knee draped across the edge of that apron where there is no padding. That's where the steel ring support. There's a, like a almost like a railroad track, metal, and a cover again right there on the edge of that ring, buddy. And he just wrenched that knee in, in the direction it was not meant to go. Doesn't forgive, that's for sure. Absolutely not. You know, I've accidentally fallen getting out of the ring before announcing over the years and hurt myself. So I'm telling these guys, and a veteran knows that. A veteran knows that the edge of that ring can be used as a weapon. Oh, face full of turnbuckle. Face full of turnbuckle by Michael Freely on Jesse Wyndham. Oh, is it going to chop him? Here he goes. Oh, work me and the crowd. I love it. Oh, and he got a reversal. Jesse Wyndham. Going in, took too long, took too long, and Michael Freely got that boot up. Oh, high impact! Wow, could this be it? Spine buster, and it turns the tide. I'll tell you right now, that might have took as much out of Jesse Wyndham as it did Michael Freely. Cameraman right on top of the action. Who's gonna make it to their feet first? The referee started the 10 count. Jesse Wyndham's up. That doesn't mean anything. Michael Freely may be baiting him. Oh, big right hand, and another. Reversal into the far ropes. Duck under, and another. Oh, oh, he caught him that time, caught him that time. I guarantee you Michael Freely didn't think he'd go to the well twice, and that was a mistake. Is this gonna be it, Dan? One, two, and a kick out. It was close, that's that for was sure. was close, absolutely. Dan, how long have they been going, about eight or nine minutes? About the eight and a half minute wow. mark. I'll tell you, I'm getting tired just talking about them wrestling. These guys are going wide open. I don't know the time limit on this, Bill, but I'm going to say. Ten minutes. Oh, man. Well, they, these guys probably don't even know. Two minutes remaining in the match. Two minutes. Now they know, Dan. How you like that, brother? I'm so multitasking, it's pathetic. <sighs> these guys could run out of time here. Absolutely, no doubt about it. Going up on that second rope and that high rope, which is high risk for both guys. 
You know, when you and I were growing up, I remember the superplex off the second rope by the mass superstar was a, just a tremendous high move. Oh, what was that? Man, he planted him. That was like a, a sunset flip, but turned into a power bomb. Oh, this has got to be the cover. One, two. Oh, and he kicked out even with the ropes. Even with Michael Freely using the ropes, Jesse Wyndham was able to kick out. Referee was a little out of position. And Michael Freely's not a happy camper, so to speak. Might have about a minute left, Bill. Absolutely. He's going back up to those ropes again. Time ticking away. These guys may go to a draw. You never can tell. Uh oh, he's going up again. I'm going to tell you right now, I think he's going to the well one time many too often. Looks like he might be a little out of gas. Oh, did you see that? Oh, my God. He clotheslined him when he come off that top rope. They almost killed him. This has got to be it. That's and it. In nine minutes, six seconds, Jesse Randall. That's right, wrestling fans. What a high impact move that was. Man, he could have decapitated him. And right there, the local star from Chester, South Carolina, Jesse Wyndham, your winner. And we'll be right back after this commercial break. The Lariat does the job, and Jesse Wyndham gets the win. We got a little more action coming up. Action-packed wrestling momentarily. <laughs> 